Sigma Tiger News all up in your grill with the hottest, juiciest beef online. What do we got today? I ran in denial. Cancer craze, deja flu, and zombie hunters. Welcome to Sigma Tiger News with your host, the Big Sig Tig. Join the community. We're growing every day. We have 105 subscribers now, and they're enjoying all, all the information I'm providing. And 10,000 subs or likes, the mask comes off. We're at 1,500 likes, so probably be there by summer at this pace. All right, well, what the heck is going on? Boom. Iranian official. There's been no airstrike in Isafan or other parts of the country. They only made a failed and humiliating attempt to fly quadcopters, and they were all shot down. What could he be referring to? Iranian officials and outlets are claiming that all explosions heard tonight are due to interceptions and that no explosions have occurred on the ground. Someone comments their missiles were intercepted by our buildings. Hilarious. Okay, uh, three Iranian officials have now confirmed to the New York Times that tonight's Israeli strike took place against a military base near the city of Isfahan, Isfahan in central Iran, likely indicating that the attack did indeed target the 8th Tactical Air Base of the Iranian Air Force. Okay, so they're playing a little bit of secret secret past the line. What do we got? Israel strikes Iran. Defense officials confirm. So there they go. They were like, how do we cover this? We don't want people to think that Israel were able to attack us. How did they do it? Oh my God, what happened? A senior official, U.S. official, also confirmed the attack, stating, we were not surprised. Uh, Long-distance aircraft fired missiles that struck Iranian Air Force assets at Isfahan in central Iran early Friday morning, the Jerusalem Post has confirmed. Meanwhile, two Israeli defense officials and three Iranian officials confirmed to the New York Times that Israel was involved. The report came shortly after local sources reported explosion in Isfahan in central Iran in the as Sueda Governorate of southern Syria and in the Baghdad area of Babel Governorate of Iraq early Friday morning. U.S. official then told CNN that the Iranian target was not nuclear. Videos from Isfahan appeared to show Iranian air defenses activated in the skies over the area. A senior U.S. official also confirmed uh, this on Friday morning of the attack, stating, We were not surprised, while also telling Walla that Israel informed the U.S. in advance of the strike. Yeah, they had a war cabinet on Monday, and they said, We're going to attack. And then uh, Prime Minister Sunak and President Biden were like, Just don't be at it. And then uh, Palestine tried to join, um, what is it? NATO or UN or something. They wanted statehood. Biden put the kibosh on that. And uh, Switzerland and the UK abstained from the vote so they wouldn't get any harsh criticism. And uh, then they reconvened on Wednesday and said, we're going to strike, but we're going to kind of like keep it in our back pocket and keep Iran, Iran uh, guessing. Well, guess what? Guess no more because they went ahead and struck the Iranian semi-officials Forest News Agency Reported on Friday that an explosion was heard in Kavak's first dozen east of Isfahan and near the Isfahan International Airport. First stressed that the cause of the explosion was unknown as of yet. Reports of airstrike sites belonging to Syrian army. Blah, blah, blah. So they did strike, and there you have it. What's next? Iran said they weren't going to retaliate. And none of the air uh, space was infringed upon, like Jordan. And uh, they believe they came more likely from Iraq. All right, 2024, the first year the U.S. expects more than 2 million new cases of cancer. Well, that's an exorbitant number of what's going on. The American Cancer Society reports lower overall cancer death rates, yet incidence is increasing for many common cancers, including six of the top ten. And it's happening in uh, young people. Two million new cancer cases projected, first time ever, of all cancer deaths in people under 50, collectoral is now number one in men and number two in women. What's going on with our guts? Well, we eat food, our colon uh, draws water from uh, the food and then turns it into poop. So maybe it's our food, who knows. 
Uh, screenable cancer is on the rise. No effects. Over the last 30 years, the risk of dying from cancer has steadily declined, sparing some 4 million lives in the United States. This downward trend can partially be explained by big wins in smoking cessation, early cancer detection, and treatment advancements. Cancer incidence, however, is on the rise for many common cancers. In the coming year, we're expecting to hit a bleak milestone. The first time new cases of cancer in the U.S. are expected to cross the 2 million mark. That's almost 5,500 cancer diagnoses a day. Good Lord. This trend is largely affected by the aging and growth of the population and by a rise in diagnosis of six of the ten most common cancers, breast, prostate, endometrial, pancreatic, kidney, and melanoma, which is skin. The other four top ten cancers are lung, colon, rectum, bladder, and non-Hodgkin lymphoma. In 2024, over 611,000 deaths from cancer are projected for the U.S., and that's more than 1,600 deaths from cancer each day. So you're getting 5,500 diagnoses, 1,600 deaths a day. It's insane. Uh, a lot of doctors are saying that young people in their 20s are presenting with uh, late stage cancers, obviously early onset, anything below the age of 50 or 55. These estimated numbers of new cancer cases and deaths for this year are from Cancer Stats 2024, published in the American Cancer Society's flagship journal, CA, a cancer journal for clinicians, in its consumer-friendly companion report, Cancer Facts and Figures 2024, and on the interactive website, the Cancer Statistics Center. These publications are the most widely cited sources of cancer stats in the world. Authors of the study include ACS researchers Rebecca Siegel, MPH, Angela Giaquinto, MSPH, and Amadine Jamal, DVM, PhD. Rising incidences of some of the most common cancers, some that are related to excess body weight, may halt the decline in cancer mortality in the near future. Hmm, cholesterol cancer in people younger than 55, liver cancer in women, oral cancers associated with HPV, the human papillomavirus, or, uh, um, what is it, warts, basically. Cervical cancer in women aged 30 through 44. HPV, yeah, not good. Although there aren't ways to detect most cancers early, four of the cancers with increasing trends have screening tests, breast, prostate, collectoral, and cervical. Collectoral and cervical cancer screens can actually prevent cancer altogether by detecting precancerous lesions that can be removed. The risk of developing six of the cancers on the rise is associated with excess body weight listed in order of strength of the association. These six cancers are endometrial, liver, kidney, pancreas, collectoral, and breast. So if you are overweight, consider losing some of that excess weight through exercise and food intake reduction, and you may not get cancer. In men, the top three most common types of cancer in the prostate, lung, and colon, and rectum account for almost one half, 48% of all cancer cases in women. The top three most common types of cancer in the breast, lung, and colon, and rectum account for 51% of all cancer cases. So they're getting younger, absolutely. Yeah, so just be careful out there, people. Be careful what you're putting in your body, because that's what they say, putting things in your body is the number one cause of cancer. So I don't know what people have been putting in their bodies over the past few years that have really caused a spike in what some people are calling a turbo cancer epidemic. I don't know. What's been going on lately? What have people been putting in their bodies? Yikes. Yeah, so, uh, okay, here we go. Uh, racial disparities in cancer are striking and persistent. In fact, the death rate for black people with prostate, stomach, and uterine cancers is double that for white people. Similarly, American Indian and Alaska Native people have two times higher death rates for liver, stomach, and kidney cancer than white people. What's the reason? Black men have the highest overall cancer death rate, which is 19% higher than that of white men. The difference is largely driven by prostate cancer death rates for black men, which are twice that of any other group. Is it because they don't seek early intervention medicine? Or, uh, you know, do they have a lack of trust in the med medical establishment? Uh, the Alaskan people have the highest overall incidence and mortality rate in men and women combined. Alaskan Native people have the highest collectoral cancer incidence and mortality in the world. Hispanic people have lower rates of the most common cancers, such as breast and prostate, compared to non-Hispanic whites, but they also have one of the highest rates of infection-related cancers. For example, cervical cancer incidences caused by HPV infection is 35% higher in Hispanic women than in white women. Black women with endometrial cancer have a death rate that is two times higher than white women despite similar instances of the disease, probably because they are diagnosed later and have worse survival. So there it is, get to the doctor, uh, especially with stomach. It's not something to ignore. If you have stomach pain, get to the doctor immediately if you have one, good luck. All right, uh, deja flu, alert over spread of mystery pneumonia that has sickened dozens of healthy people in Argentina. 
mystery respiratory illness has hospitalized dozens of people in Argentina in an outbreak that shares eerie similarities to COVID. 60 patients have been sickened with severe atypical pneumonia in the capital Buenos Aires. An alert about the cluster of cases was last night circulated by an international public health surveillance system. COVID was brought to the attention of the world in late 2019 as a result of the same database called ProMed. Beijing officials sounded the alarm over an undiagnosed viral pneumonia outbreak in Wuhan, which would later transpire to become the pandemic's ground zero. Here you have Buenos Aires, uh, just neighboring with Uruguay. Argentina, of course, is the country where Buenos Aires is. Yikes. Uh, last night, the alert submitted anonymously by an individual known to ProMed said, uh, in the past 30 days, there appears to have been an increase in several or sorry, severe atypical pneumonia requiring critical care in Buenos Aires. The affected individuals are mostly young people without major risk factors. Patients have required mechanical ventilation to help them breathe. No, no official statements have been made by Argentinian officials, meaning details on what the actual illness is are scarce. But the alert suggests a third of the sickened patients showed signs of uh, psittacosis caused by a type of chlamydia rife in birds. Interesting. Many of the affected patients had no apparent history of contact with birds, the alert noted. Psittacosis, a flu-like illness named parrot fever, typically triggers mild symptoms such as headaches and cough, yet it can lead to pneumonia and severe cases. We covered this uh, about a month ago, parrot fever happening in the UK. There were six people there. Now we have it uh, in South America. Very interesting. We'll keep you posted on all this. Although psittacosis appears to be the etiology of some of the cases, there may be more than one agent involved. ProMed would appreciate more information about these cases. Experts today called on health chiefs not to be complacent in the face of threat of another respiratory illness, but they insisted it was unlikely that this will pose a threat more widely. Boom. Keep you posted. Two hunters become first Americans to die from zombie deer disease. So here we have our zombie hunters uh, after eating infected venison, which is the meat of uh, deer, elk, any sort of uh, wild uh, animal. A study suggests that two men in Wyoming died from chronic wasting disease. The two hunters may have become the first Americans to die from zombie deer disease. Experts have been warning for years that nearly 100% fatal chronic wasting disease, which leaves deer confused, drooling, and unafraid of humans, could jump from animals to people. But a new study theorizes that it has already happened in two hunters who died in 2022 after eating contaminated venison. One of the victims, 72-year-old man, suffered rapid onset confusion and aggression, as well as seizures. He died within a month. Sounds a lot like rabies. He was diagnosed after his death with uh, Kreutzfeld jacob disease, a brain-wasting condition that has been compared to mad cow disease. The hunter's friends also died, sorry, the hunter's friend also died from the disease, but there were limited details about his condition in the research published last week in the journal Neurology. The researchers are from Texas, but details about where the deaths happened is also not known. Dailymail.com has reached out to the researchers for comment. Nothing so far. CJD is caused by misfolded proteins, when proteins do not fold into the correct shape, called prions. After infection, prions travel throughout the central nervous system, leaving prion deposits in brain tissue and organs. Similarly to CWD, CJD is also caused by misfolded prions, though it most likely afflicts patients at random. However, researchers believe that due to the history of both hunters eating meat from that infected herd, they could have actually developed CWD. Although causation remains unproven, this cluster emphasizes the need for further investigation and potential risk of consuming CWD-infected deer and its implications for public health. So there you go. There's a map. As of March, there were 436 counties and 32 states with reported CWD in free-ranging cervids, which I would assume are elk and deer the word I was searching for earlier. And there you have it. It's all over the gaff. Middle America. Watch out. Careful your elk. So, uh, little fear of humans, stumbling, extremely skinny, depression, drooping head, just like a zombie. And there you go. That's probably why it got its uh, nickname zombie deer disease because it causes parts of the brain to slowly degenerate to a spongy consistency and animals will drool and stare blankly before they die. Probably some brain fluid drooling right out of their face. Direct contact, including saliva, blood, urine, and even antler velvet during annual shedding may also contribute to the transmission of the pathogen. Any deer that dies on a farm must be tested for chronic wasting disease. It's all over the gaff, people. Stop eating deer. Get out of here. TGIF, everybody. Thank God it's Friday. 10,000 subs or likes, the mask comes off. We'll reveal the man behind the mask. Go ahead, check out Twitter. There's a poll going there, at Sigma Tiger News. See if you find out why I'm wearing it, if you don't know. And uh, there's a little video under there as well. Go ahead, check it out. Like, subscribe. Signing off.